This is a story about a man named Eddie. And it begins at the end with Eddie dying in the sun. strange to start a story with an ending. But all endings are also beginnings. We just don't know it at the time. Is, uh, is my job. This is just a shirt. You have a cool job. Yeah. Well, go catch up with your father. Years ago, people thought of Ruby Pier as a magical and mysterious place. Once, even Eddie felt that way. Today, Pop. I don't know, Eddie. Whatever's broke. Where are you been? Hey, Gracie. How's tricks? Okay. Yeah. Hiya, Eddie. Why, watch the kid for me, will you? Sure. How long are you gonna be? Not long. Come on, Eddie. You wanna fix something for me? Yet. But it's new, Pop. Where's your brother? I don't know. We'll find him. What is it with you two? You're supposed to be here by now. What the hell happened to you? These guys that took my jacket. There were four of them, Pop. Could have taken two, but there were four. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Take care of it! Yeah, but... 
Not again. Look at you. Get you, you're bleeding. Get him then? What are you talking about? Did you put him up to this? I asked you. Did you get him? Yeah. Your boy. Honestly, this fighting has to stop. You never grow up to be an engineer, do you? Well, how are you going to be an engineer when your hands are busted up, huh? That is too dumb to be an engineer. Hey, careful! Knock it off! You too! This war in Europe keeps up, you'll be lucky you'll get a crappy job like mine. Yeah, Dom. Hey, Andy, we, we need the, uh, the keys to gate 16. I'm on my way. The last hour of Eddie's life was spent like all the others. Children liked Daddy. Teenagers gave him headaches. Knock it off! What do you think you're doing? It ain't safe. Oh, what they threw in there, Jason? Clean it up. Steady. Is he cute? Come on, kiddo. I ain't got all day. Can you make me an animal? Where's your mother? She's over there eating. Without you? With her boyfriend. That's the piece that makes it work. Watch. Yeah. Yeah, like that. And then. It's a rabbit. Yeah, rabbit. Thank you. Go show your mother what you got. every ride at Ruby Pier once a week to be certain they were safe. He had done it for so long he could almost hear trouble coming in the spits and sputters of the engines and the brakes. Often he thought this was no way for a man to grow old. But this was his life. Eddie Maintenance, they called him and a maintenance man he was. Can I go now, Pop? Is it fixed? It's fixed. Take that. Dead, mister. Dead. 
dead. Practicing the kill, are you, lad? Hello, Mr. Shea. You got any spare change? You might not be putting any toys on there. That was my last nickel. Have you seen your father then? Mm -mm. We were in the war together. Here's the thing about the war. You don't think. You just shoot and you shoot. And then you pray you come home. It's a thinking that gets you killed. Ball. Whoa! How does he do it, folks? Huh? Greatest show on earth. Watch him, buddy boys, and you will be amazed. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Um, my friends and I were looking for some of those lemon fizzes. Yeah, this is right over there by the kerosene. Uh, but that stain's closed already. Oh. But I can fix that. <laughs> Do you have a key for all the food stands? I got a key for everything. I'll be honest, they're my pop's keys. He's the maintenance. He fixes stuff here. I'm just helping him out to save up enough money for engineering school. After the army, of course. Oh, you enlisted? Yeah, last week. Gotta do my part. Well, I better get back. My friends will think I swam off into the ocean or something. <laughs> Souvenir. I don't, I don't know your name. Marguerite. I'm Eddie. Thanks for the fizz, Eddie. The birthday boy. Happy birthday, boss. Come on, Eddie, live it up. You only have a birthday, what, once a year? Sounds about right. How old are you now? Old. <laughs> Man, I hope I live to be as old as you. Why? Dom, put the tools in the right spot. Them labels are there for a reason. Hey, don't forget I'm off next week. Me and Maria are going to Miami for our anniversary. 
You ever been to Miami? Me? I never been anywhere I wasn't shipped with a rifle. Yeah. No, I can't. Buy your wife something nice. You sure? Thanks, man. Places, right? I always wanted to do that. I've never been more than five miles from here. Me neither. It's not gonna change. Really? Yeah, I ain't spending the rest of my life at Ruby Beard. Safety bars. Three button rear panel. You got it? 
and send down that car. Everybody just stay calm. Hydraulics, gears, cable. Rear paddle, safety parts. Yeah, I got it. Stop me and don't look down. It's the cable. I'll be over in a few moments. This is a story about a man named Eddie. But the end of his life was only the beginning. Eddie saw nothing of his final moment on Earth. He felt no pain from his death. All he felt was lightness and calm. As if every hurt he had ever suffered had been washed away. And then he woke up. seen a more horrible sight. Look well upon this savage. He is not of the human race. corners of the earth, we bring you this tragic soul for your examination.
Hello, Edward. I have been waiting for you. Eddie had seen this man before in his life. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. He didn't know why he was seeing him again. Your body feels like a child, no? You were a child when you knew me. That's why. You start here with the same feelings you had on Earth. You can't talk when you first arrive. It's God's little lesson, I suppose. Helps you listen. Tell me something. The bullwhip. Is it still the fastest roller coaster on earth? Oh. I figured as much. Nothing changes here. And there is no peering down from the clouds, I'm afraid. Yes. You died. An accident. Oh. How long ago? A minute, an hour, a thousand years. Where are you? Where do you think? Heaven. There are five people you meet in heaven, Edward. Each one of us was in your life for a reason. People think of heaven as a garden of Eden, mountains, rivers. But what is scenery without solace? This is the greatest gift God can give you, Edward. To understand your life on Earth. It is why you are here. When I died, my life was illuminated by five others. And then I came here to wait for you. To tell you my story, which becomes part of yours. Did you ever dance here? <laughs> I never danced with a woman. I was a nervous boy and a nervous man. Everything scared me. You're going to that feet! A chemist for my 
problem gave me silver nitrate. You know this? Uh, a poison to death. But we were not so smart back then. I drank it, and when it didn't work, I drank more. <laughs> Turned my skin this color. A side effect. Permanent, I'm afraid. My life as a man was over. My life as a freak had begun. I had many names, Algeria, Tanzania. I had never been to any of those places. It made me feel exotic. One summer, I came here, Ruby Pier. The ocean, the sand. I could walk in the morning before the customers arrived. I could feel the sea breeze like a normal man. I was happy here until the day I died. You see, Edward, this is not your heaven. It's mine. You did. See the boy? See the man in the car? It was only my second time. It was early Saturday morning. I thought, what can happen? Oh. I so loved it, behind the wheel of an automobile. Like a normal man. I almost did, that little boy. My blood was rushing. My heart was not strong. And it surrendered. The police wrote, heart attack on the official papers. No one saw, no one knew. No one pays much notice to a freak, even when he dies. People just go on with their lives. You see now why you are here, little boy? God help me, mister, I didn't mean it. You dying, I didn't know. Well, how could you know? You were only a child. So now I gotta pay, right? Pay? For my sin. That's what I'm here for, right? Justice. No, 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 no. You are here so I could teach you something. Each one of your five people has one such thing to show you, to illuminate. By the end, what you did not understand in life, you will. Quiet! Stop wiggling. 
but it's my birthday. I don't want to go. Sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do. I remember this. We have to go to a funeral. Your funeral? But it's my birthday. Hey! What did I say? Huh? What did I say? I said, be quiet. Son. did not attract the big crowd that day. It's not fair. It was my own stupidity running out there like that. I should have been the one killed. Not you. Fairness does not govern life and death. If it did, no good man would ever die young. During my time on Earth, People died instead of me, too. The airplane crashes as if you shouldn't be known. Fire burns in the building that you left an hour before. There are no random acts. We are all connected. Good comes from it. Good? What good came from this? You died. Huh? You lived. But I barely knew you. We were strangers. Strangers are just family you have yet to come to know. I tried to save her. I, I felt her hands. I must have pulled her. I can't remember after that. Did I save her? It was the last thing I did a failure to. I cannot answer that. And my life was a waste. No life is a waste. There will be others. Your journey does not end here. Can I ask you where you're going? I'm not. Couldn't sleep. Me neither. When do you think they'll open us up again? I don't know. That's the police. I still can't believe it, you know? I always thought he was too stubborn to die. There was a second heaven for Eddie. Although heaven was not the word he would have chosen.
His body felt older now, stronger. And he ran with the hard, measured steps of a soldier. Typhoid, tetanus, yellow fever. <laughs> you know, I never even did find out what the hell yellow fever was. All them shots for all those diseases, and I still died here anyhow. Healthy as a horse. Doesn't seem right, does it? Could have saved my arm all them pokey needles. Who are you? How do you like them apples? Come on! That was funny! Come on down! Come on up! Ah, uh, you don't want to look down. It'll only make you dizzy. You got real old. That's a compliment. <laughs> they explain the rules to you, soldier? I'm dead. You got that right. You're my second person. Got that right, too. Left you your helmet and your old rifle. Not that they're much use to you here. Bet you didn't expect me, huh? a lot longer than that to get as pretty as me, you know that? Dog 06, this is Able 06, over. Dog zero 06, if you copy, break squelch twice. Over. Come on, Robozo, you stick pin. Pick it up. It's hot. And I got all this extra stuff to carry. Oh, I'm sorry, Daisy. You got a little stain on your dress there? Is that what Shut it is? your yap! Warren, this must be jingle brain. Keep it on that ridge. Oi! I can't. You can't? What do you mean you can't? We, we're just gonna sit there? Get up! Hey, get up! Hold on, Mort. Hold on. Before you go killing anybody, I got a better idea. Give me your pack, Rebozo. Come on. Wait. I'll race you to the captain. I'll carry his pack. Loser's gotta carry it till dark. Okay, Goldilocks, you're on. Are you sure you can do that, Eddie? You ever run up a roller coaster with a sledgehammer? Come on, Bozo. Go. Right. 
Say your prayers, buddy boy. <laughs> what the hell are you grunts doing? It's a race, Cap. A race that's open ground. On three. One, two. Oh. Look at Eddie go. <laughs> well, he's a carny. Probably walks tightrope, too. Go, go, go! Move it! Open up! the last time you saw me. See, time ain't what you think it is, Ken. Neither is dying. I figure it's like that whole Adam and Eve thing, right? Adam's first night on Earth, when he lays down to sleep, he probably thinks that's it, right? His eyes are closed and the world's over. He's a goner. What does he know from sleep? Next morning, he wakes up. He still has the world, but now he has something else. He has his yesterday. Now you're right. No reason to spit up here. No reason to smoke. Old habits, I guess. Well, Captain, sir. No reason for that either, but much obliged. Captain. There's some kind of mistake going on. I mean, I don't belong here. I lived a nothing life, see? I never went nowhere. I never accomplished anything worth note. Couldn't find a job? No, no, I had a job. I, uh, dumb job. I fixed the rides at this amusement park. Ruby Pier. Ruby Pier. That's a place you always used to tell us about, right? We're all gonna go there when the war was done. Free rides with the prettiest ladies in a tunnel of love. That's right. Ever see them boys again? Morton, Smitty. prayers of war. He learned to go days without rest and nights without sleep. He learned how to take a prisoner, but not how to become one. And then one night in the Philippines, he learned that too. Okay, today. Back to that park, you took that job, then what? Done nothing. I never left. I meant to, but I... Things never worked out. Money. My leg. 
I never really got the war out of my head. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Let it go. Take this one. everybody they're losing this war how desperate do they gotta be using us to do this give you some gold day wall every night rats off a sinking ship how much longer not much see them digging ditches up the way now the oil barrels
Margaret's picture and I make these deals with God, see? I'd say, I'll give you one more week as a soldier. You give me one more week with her. I'll give you one more month in this life. You give me one month in that one. Used to. I stopped the night they shot Rebozo. All I could think about after that was getting out. I was gonna take care of myself if I made it in one piece. That never happened, of course. You know, it's the damnedest thing. I'm dead. But I feel, I feel healthy. As strong as I ever was. You still juggle? I can juggle. Huh? Juggle? Juggle? Yeah, hey, let me try. Let me try. Get to it. Juggle. 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 Juggle.
Isn't he something else, ladies and gents? Very good. Hey? Okay. Oh, we well, get the one on the left. All right. Speedy, you take the one on the right. Okay. Ready for four? Four. You guys ready for four? Four. Okay, guys. Four. Four. my lead. I'm my kid. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. It was war, Eddie. I never stopped thinking about it. My whole life. His dreams. Every soldier has dreams. We could have just run. We didn't have to destroy the whole place. What did you see in those dreams? Hey, Eddie, what's it doing? Remember how you got out of there? That bullet got you good. Lost a lot of blood. 
And them boys patch you up best they could. Those planes firing, I never... I never saw it coming. Everything changed after that. Couldn't run no more. Played baseball. Used to swim the ocean like a fish. You didn't stop walking. I just stopped moving. Sort of sat down in my life. I ever tell you I come from a military family? My father was a soldier. His father and his father too. At the dinner table, it was yes, sir, no, sir. All I did was take orders. Then along comes a war. All of a sudden, I'm giving orders. Kids are looking at me for answers. They thought I could keep them alive. You did too, didn't you? Yeah. I couldn't, of course. I mean, hell, I took orders like everyone else. But I thought, if I couldn't keep you alive, at least I could keep you together. In the middle of big war, you grab at them little ideas. We're going home together. That's right. Going home together. Met a lot, Captain. I hope so. Why do you say that? Because I was the one who shot you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Get it out. No. Not you! <laughs> The story of the tragedy at Ruby Pier was in the newspapers for several days. Then other stories took its place. Pretty tidy for an old guy. Are you surprised? I don't think we'll find any bank statements in there. It's the same apartment Eddie grew up in. I don't know why he never moved out. You'd think he'd want some air conditioning. I think he'd want to change the scenery. There's the soldier boy. Hey, Eddie. Happy birthday, son. Here's your cake. Yeah. Hello, Eddie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Eddie. Happy birthday, Eddie. Joe, you got matches. There you go. Good job. So it looks pretty good, all things considered, don't he, Pop? Really good, son. Really good, Eddie. Oh. 
bastard. You do that. Open to do that. Get it out. My leg. My leg. My life. Get it out. My life. Why? I had to. Why? 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 I took your leg to save your life. You would have died in that fire. You were obsessed. You damn near knocked Morton unconscious. Another second, you would have been so deep in, none of us could have gotten you. There's nobody in that hut. What was I thinking? I seen it happen a hundred times. A soldier reaches a certain point, and he's done. Sometimes in the dead of night, man will come out of his tent, just start walking. Like he lives around the corner, like he's going home. Why didn't I just die? Wasn't your time to die. I couldn't just let you burn alive. I figured a leg wound would heal. Morton pulled you out of there. And the others got you home. What do you mean the others got me home? Just like I told you, tetanus, yellow fever, all them shots, just a big waste of my time. Look. and check around the curve. Keep an eye out. Hang on, Eddie. Hey, hey, Eddie. Hold on, OK? Hey, we're going home. You want to go home, don't you? Eddie, look at me. Hey, look at me, look at me. Eyes open. That's one of us. Hey. I'm in none of this. I figure what was left of me landed in about a thousand places, including here. And this is where you're buried. <laughs> well, that's a fancy way of saying it, but uh, yeah, this was my funeral. Smitty Morton, I never saw him at the hospital. When I got home, I didn't open mail, I didn't ask questions, I just wanted to forget. You've been here all this time? Waiting for you. That's what the blue man said. Well, he was too. But he had something to teach you. And now he's moved on. And I'm fixing to do the same. So? What are you here to Sacrifice. I made one, you made one. But you had the wrong idea about yours. You got angry. Kept thinking about what you lost. You didn't get it. Sacrifice ain't something to be ashamed of. It's something to be proud of. People stop sacrificing for one another. They lose what makes them human. It's the noblest thing we do. You lost everything. Well, that's the thing about sacrifice. Sometimes when you think you're losing something, you're really just passing it on to someone else.
forgive me about the leg. That's what I was waiting for. Captain. Yeah? Why this place? I mean, you can choose anywhere to wait, right? Well, I died knowing almost nothing but war. I wanted to see what the world looked like before we started killing each other. Before war. But this is war. Our eyes ain't the same, soldier. This is what I see. By the way, I don't smoke. That was all in your eyes, too. <laughs> Who smokes in heaven? This is yours. Well, good luck. Wait, uh, the little girl at the pier, did I save her? I can't remember, I only felt her hands, little hands. I just want to know that's more. I can't tell you. But someone can.
ty svoje. Vyše kolo. She waited for you, Eddie. Yeah. Your brother Joe called. He starts that sales job tomorrow. Your father says there might be some work at Ruby Pier. Help you get some money for engineering classes. Not and... Ruby Pier. What's that? I ain't working at Ruby Pier. All those people I know. I don't feel like I'm okay. Yeah, okay. You shut the door, will you? He needs to get off his high horse. That's what he needs. But working at the pier ain't good enough for him? Stop it. That's what he's been through. How the hell do you know what he's been through? He don't even talk. Look at him. Do you ever look at him? Something awful happened over there. Yeah, well, something awful happens every day. Who <laughs> now? Drunk, Pop. Get up! Get a job! Is that it? You think you're better than me? Huh? Get up! Get a job! Get up! Get a job! Get up! Get a no! job! See, you ain't so hurt. You ain't so hurt and you ain't so tough. That's why I can't whip you like I used to. No more. No. Eddie's third heaven was a place he had never seen before. His body was decaying, and his soul was growing restless.
fixed. I'm here, Pop. I'm here. Look at me. I'm here. Look at me. Look at me. He can't hear you. Uh -huh. Don't be angry. My father's in there. Well, he's not really here. It's only his spirit, safe from harm. That's part of my heaven. Why does my father have to be safe for you? Would you like me to explain? No. Where are you going? I want to go home. Uh, uh, come with me. No. Edward. Can I see Earth again? I'm afraid not. Then can I go back to my life? Can I promise to be better? Why do you want to go back? Why? Why? Because you, this, none of it makes no sense to me. That's why. Heaven, where are the people you're supposed to see in heaven? My brother, my brother died before me. My mother. I had friends where I can't even remember my own end. There was this little girl. Cart was falling. I felt a little. And that was when I... Passed away? Went to the other side? Met your maker? Died. What do you remember about that moment when you died? Floating. Colors, colors like I'd ever seen. No offense, lady, but I don't know you. But I know you. If you have a spare moment for me, now. always well to do. My family was poor, like most. I left school early to work. We all did, my sisters and I, until we married. I held out the longest. Until Emil, he came to the diner every morning. And he ate such big breakfasts. Oh, what a big appetite he has, I thought. But Emil's appetite was for more than just food. Well, I was pretty in those days. And Emil, oh, he was so charming and adventurous and, and rich. Oh. My, what a big fortune he had. You've seen these pictures? files in the workshop. Most of it was before my time. Well, things that come before your time can still affect you, even if they are in the old files. He loved those seaside fun parks. He asked me to marry him in one. When I said yes, he promised that he would capture the moment forever. So, he built his monument, a place where children could always be children, and adults never had to grow up. He brought in animals and clowns and a, a carousel from France and a Ferris wheel from Germany. Oh, and he 
his pièce de résistance. The entrance. Oh, it was grand. Sweetheart, he said. Everyone who comes through these gates will have to pass under your gaze. I don't understand. The name. Weren't you ever curious about the name of the place where you worked, where your father worked all those years? Ruby Pier? Up here. Damn, a bronze star. This ain't right. Forget these insurance people. Bad enough what happened. You let him rest in peace. fire burnt down half the park in those days everything was made of lath and tar our pier was like a matchbook i begged a male not to go but of course he went he wanted to save his gift to me they say he was trying to save the grand entrance with my painting on it It collapsed. There was no insurance. That was my Emil, the risk taker. That one night we lost everything. They rebuilt the park, remember? Oh, someone else, not us. Emil was in the hospital for months took most of our savings. Even so, he didn't want to sell it. Can you imagine that? <laughs> but I sold it to a rich railway man. He kept the name. I didn't care. We moved away. I tended to my beloved husband. And I nurtured one impossible wish. What wish was that? That he had never built that place. I had that thought a few times myself. I had dreams when I was a kid. I thought I'd be a, an engineer. But my father used to tell me, the world is divided into somebody's and nobody's, Eddie. There's a lot more nobodies. 
made sure I was one of them. Eddie, your father is not the reason that you never left Ruby Pier. Oh, no. What is? You still have two more people to meet, dear. No, lady. I can meet a thousand people. That ain't gonna change. The pier, that dumb job, was the last trick he pulled on me. How? By dying. Eddie. Eddie. It's your father. He collapsed. They took him to the hospital. Oh, God. My fault. It's my fault. Her fault. He came home one night. Four in the morning, soaking wet. Probably drunk as a skunk, and he gets pneumonia, and it's her fault. But that's how he was, my old man. You were always the one doing something wrong, never him. I took over his shifts while he was in the hospital. <clears throat> Nights, weekends, so he wouldn't lose his job. And then he died on me. My mother never did accept it. She kept talking to him like he was still alive. One night I went over to see her. He said, Ma, you want I should put these dishes away? No, Eddie, your father will do it. Ma. Dad's gone. Gone where? I moved back in here the next week, and I took that job to be around, to take care of my mother. I became my old man, and I never left. What's happening? You don't really know how your father died. What are you talking about? What's he doing here? He's been fired, drinking. He came looking for your father, but your father wasn't here. Your mother's going to get dressed to help him find your father. wanted to. But years ago, they fought in the war together. Mickey helped him get his first job. Your father held loyalty in very high regard. In the end, it mattered more than his rage. So he saved a life instead of taking one. Pneumonia. Your 
fought the ocean for a long time. Sometimes he would cry out for your mother, or your brother, or for you. For me? How do you know that? There were two patients to a room. Your father died in the middle of the night. When I found out where he had worked, I felt as if someone from my own family had died. Again, I cursed Ruby Pier. I wished that I could undo any harm it had ever caused. That wish formed my heaven. I don't understand. This old diner? This old diner is more than a place. It's a time when things were simpler. But those people inside, they were all hurt. Well, accidents, fights, fires. I would have none of it. My heaven would be a place where anyone who ever suffered from Ruby Pier, even for a moment, would be safe forever. Your father, too. I hated him, you know. I know. He was hell on me as a kid. And even worse, when I got older. Once he couldn't hit me no more. He stopped talking to me altogether. Eddie, anger is a poison. It eats us inside. We think when we hate someone, we hurt them. But hatred is a curved blade. And the harm we do to others, we also do to ourselves. Why is everything so different than I thought? Well, when you first came here, do you remember how you felt? I had no pain, no worry. No hate. That's because no one is born with anger. We build it over the years with the things we don't say, with the things we bury. When we die, the soul is freed of it. Freed to see the truth. So what do I got to do? You need to forgive your father. you. I still don't. You beat me. You humiliated me. I was your son. 
Look at me, Pop. I'm older than you. I didn't know your life. I didn't know you. But I understand now. I'm letting it go. All right? Can we let it go? I forgive you, okay? You hear me? I forgive you, Dad. I forgive you. It's fixed. How old was the deceased? Uh, I don't know. It was his birthday. What can you tell me about it? That I can share with the other mourners. You mean about Eddie? About what he was like? <sighs> he was great. little things for you sometimes. Give you some money. Help you out. But don't get me wrong. He was a tough old goat. Everything had to be safe. Make it safe, Dom. Grease them tracks, Dom. Tighten them bolts, Dom. You know. How about personally? Personally... I know that Eddie loved his wife very much. She gave him this watch once with a little Ferris wheel on it. <laughs> and he, he never took it off. Of course, I, ne I never met her. To the beautiful bride, Marguerite. And to the lucky groom, Eddie, my kid brother, who figured out you can get a restaurant cheap on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> to the bride and the groom, everyone. I'm sorry, we couldn't afford more. This is all I ever wanted. Come on, Eddie. We love this song. Yeah. 
Oh, please. No, I can't move over now. A pocket full of rainbows, got a heart full of love. Mr. Heartache, I found a way to make him leave. Got a pocket full of rainbows, got a star of my sleeve. Birthday, honey. Kiss me extra tender, hold me extra tight, cause I'm saving your sweetness for a long No more tears on. Now that I found the love is so true. Not easy finding a watch with a Ferris wheel, you know. Kiss me extra So you like it? Of course I like it. I'm saving your sweetness for a lonely night. No more tears. ton of these. Help me make regional manager. <laughs> Twice what I was making. Eddie. Oh, hello, Joe. Hello, Marguerite. Hey, honey. When do you start working at the old pier? She's just doing part-time. Ah. Joe made regional manager. Ain't that swell? <laughs> well, it ain't nothing. Oh, no, that's great, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Come out here for a second, will you? <laughs> the boss, you know.
never wear something like that. If you did, the fellas wouldn't look at anyone else. The card. Card. The insurance card. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Wait here. I'll get out. First wheel. Thank you. 
Russian. Stop staring. I'm sorry. Eddie. Have you forgotten so quickly what I look like? I never forgot that. All weddings. That was my choice. I can go from one to another all over the world. When the groom lifts the veil, when the bride takes the ring, it never changes. They always believe their love will break all the records. <laughs> Did we have that at our wedding? We had an accordion player. <laughs> Your leg. It's getting worse. It was good when I got here. So, I went through this whole thing too? You met five people? Yes. Made a difference? Made all the difference. And then I came here to wait for you. My sweetheart. Who watched you know since you died? Well, I remember everything that happened when we were together. Now oh, I know why it happened. And I know you love me dearly. But I don't know how you died. There was this little girl, one of the rides, a new one, not like the ones we used to have. Everything goes a, a million miles an hour now. But this ride, I never trusted it. It drops a cart, see? And somehow the cable, it snapped. I don't know how, it just snapped. And this little girl, she was underneath it. I went to push her out of the way. I grabbed her hands, and then that's all I remember. I, I, I felt her little hands and everything went black. I tried, I, I tried, but I don't know if I, if I failed. I ain't talked this much since I've been here. Oh God, Marguerite. I can't say. I can't say. What? I missed you so much. Yeah. 
It's nothing, honey. Dream again. You want me to fix you something? It's four in the morning. It's all right. I don't mind. I get some sleep. What happened during the war? You never told me. I couldn't tell you. We had to survive. We did what we had to do, I guess. But I was never the same. It was like all the things I had wanted, I couldn't see them anymore. I felt stuck. I should have made us a better life. Should have got us out of there, the pier. I love the pier. I lost myself. I'm sorry. No. Marguerite. You think God knows I'm here? Of course. Why do you ask? I don't know. I guess part of my life I was hiding from him. And the rest? And the rest, I just figured he didn't know I existed. Sorry about anything? With us, I mean. I was sorry we couldn't have children. anything with us. Yeah, I was sorry it didn't last longer.
for many years, didn't you? You felt that it was snatched away. And I left you too soon. You did leave too soon. There was a reason to it all. What reason? You died. You died and you lost everything. And I lost everything. I lost the only woman I ever loved. No, you didn't. I was right here. And you loved me anyhow. Love is still love, Eddie. It takes a different form, that's all. You can't hold their hands. You can't tussle their hair. But when those senses weaken, another one comes to life. Memory. Memory becomes your partner. You hold it. You dance with it. Life has to end, Eddie. Love doesn't. I never wanted anyone else. I know. I'm still in love with you. I know, I felt it. You felt it here? Even here. I want to show you something. so pretty at the end. Kenya.
Don't take her again. Don't take her again. Don't take her again. Tala. Baru. Baru. Sire. Sire. Loser. Washing. Washing like our Inas do. Inas? Mommies. Where are your mommies? These, these are pipe cleaners. I keep them for the kids at the PA. Yeah. Look, see? Like that. You burn me. What did you say? You burn me. You make me fire. I don't understand. Maina say hide. Hide me pop. Maina say she come back. What were you hiding from, little girl? Sindalo. Soldier. I'm a soldier! Tala. Tala. Why are you in heaven? You burn me. You make me fire.
You were the shadow. The shadow in the hut. Say she come back. Do not say tell of the safe. You burn me. Not safe. Oh, God. I kill you. I kill you. Forgive me, dear Lord, forgive me. This time, those dreams. Forgive me, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Why didn't I know? <laughs> You wash me. You wash me like an Aston. I don't know how. You're five years old? You're my fifth person. Why are you sad? Why am I sad? Where? Here? On Earth? I was sad because I, I didn't do anything with my life. Because uh, I always felt trapped by the things that were happening. I wasn't where we were supposed to be. You understand that? Is where you're supposed to be. 
square, Ruby Pier fixing rights. Why? Why was I supposed to be there? Children, you keep them safe. You make good for me every day. You make good for me. Is where you're supposed to be. Any maintenance? Tala. Tala. There was a little girl at the pier the day I died. You know what I'm talking about? Did I save her? Just tell me. Did I pull her out of the way? No pull. Push. You push her away. Big thing, Father. You keep her safe. Oh, I, I felt her hands. I couldn't have pushed. I, I felt her little hands. Not her hands. My hands. I bring you to heaven, keep you safe. All the accidents Eddie had prevented. All the lives he had kept safe. He saw them all. And all their children, and all their children's children. There because of the simple things that Eddie did. Day after day. This is the story of a man named Eddie who lived and died and would one day himself share the secret of heaven. That each life affects the other. And the other affects the next.
world is full of stories, but the stories are all one.